This mechanical comprehension practice test question for the ASVAB and PiCat says if wheel A rotates clockwise, which of the other wheels will also rotate clockwise? So here's wheel A, it's rotating this way. In order for wheel A to rotate that way, that means this belt is moving in this direction. And with that in mind, we can go ahead and find out the direction in which these other wheels are rotating. So again, this belt is going to be moving wheel H this way, that's counterclockwise. And since wheel H is moving in the opposite direction of wheel A, we know all of them don't turn clockwise. And likewise, we know B is incorrect because it includes H. So all we have to figure out is if D, E, and F spin clockwise like wheel A. Um, so again, the belt is moving in this direction. Uh, we can see that it's going to spin wheel G that way. Uh, the belt is moving in this direction. It's going to spin wheel F this way, which is clockwise, the same direction as wheel A. Wheel E is going to spin this way, that is counterclockwise. So we're not going to include wheel E, so we know this one's not correct. And by process of elimination, we know the correct answer is C. But that said, let's just confirm that D is spinning in that direction. Again, the belt is moving this way. And that's going to spin wheel D this way. That is the same direction clockwise as wheel A. So this one is only F and D uh, spin clockwise like wheel A. All right, so that is that one.